Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on Chess.com's Tactics Trainer. I'm going to try three more puzzles and just share my thoughts along the way. So, let's try this first one where I'm playing as white. Okay. This is interesting. My first thought is that this is a position out of the Carol Khan. One where... Yeah, the one where there's the advanced variation and there's a bishop b5, g6 something with the bishop coming back to h7 and an e6 pawn sack that's just a little um side note but um okay so this is um my first thought giving a check here hmm oh i think i see it this knight is restricted to the defense of the rook so, we can give a check, for starters, king here, and then upon push, attacks the knight. If he moves, we grab the rook, and if he doesn't move, well, we capture the knight. So, queen check, king here, g5, if pawn takes, now we have knight takes on g5, with all sorts of threats. The main one at that point being knight f7, which would be a fork on the king and queen, but on top of that there's knight takes rook, and if the rook goes to h8 or h6, it's still the same story. Knight f7 is going to be very strong. Um, Let me see for a second. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think it's just the immediate check and then something to do with this push. Queen and knight are the only attacking pieces in this position. I don't think it's going to be anything else. So, queen check, just double checking here. Queen check, king to d8, g5, pawn takes, knight takes, and maybe they'll already call it a puzzle. Let's go for it. Okay, that is the correct start. And now g5, that's correct. Now knight takes, and that's it. Nope, we're going to play one more out, and it's this. I'm pretty sure. Knight f7, and it is at that point the problem solved. So I guess after king here, well, you could just take the rook first. Yeah, you have you have your pick. I think there's multiple good moves at that point, but white is simply going to be winning material. All right, let's try that second one. So that was interesting, a pretty realistic puzzle out of the Carol Khan advance variation, again with e5, bishop f5, g4, kicking the bishop back. If it does still stay on this diagonal, there's this e6 pawn advance. And from this puzzle, it was a uh, white exploiting black's light squares. Okay, let's try puzzle two. Team black. Hmm. Okay. It's a big race, I guess. These guys cre can create a passed pawn. And let's see. Oh, I think I know the solution to this one. Okay, I'm pretty sure the first move is you have to take the knight. However, no, let's let's hold off for a moment. I think I see the solution immediately, but I'm just I'm going to try this first. My quick initial thought is pawn takes, king takes, king to e7, forcing king to g7, and then only pushing the pawns forward to eventually promote on a dark square, which would give check to the king on g7. But can you just immediately run with the pawns? No, I don't think I don't think that's the direction. In fact, if White really wanted to, after a4, this pawn could continue to push, and there won't be any pawn promoting with check against the White King. Black would promote first, and then White would promote right after. But and the Knight couldn't track him down. Like if a5, Knight Knight two, f4, then. You could probably do a3 or b3 at that point. I think you'll be pushing through. I'm going to go with pawn takes knight with this following idea. 
Pawn takes knight, king takes pawn. And then king to e7. Pawn takes knight, king takes pawn, king e7. If h5, then there's king to f8. h6, king to g8. The king will be there to stop the pawn. So pawn takes knight, king takes pawn, king e7 first. And then king to g7 to shoulder off the black king from getting to f8. Only at that point do we start pushing with the pawns. a5, h5, b3. Pawn takes pawn, and not the immediate recapture, but rather a3. The, go the goal will be to promote so that we could give check. I think that's it. All right. King here. Oh, my goodness. Really? What am I missing? Wow, I really was not expecting that. Huh. What's wrong with king here? Pawn push immediately, really? I'm actually quite stunned that that is the solution to push right away. Huh. What was wrong with my thought? Oh, maybe nothing. <laughs> maybe my way is still fine, because this pawn will be there in time to stop this pawn from promoting. Hmm. I think both are fine. This is, I guess, more direct. Maybe I should have seen it as this prior to forcing the king to a dark square. Would there really be anything wrong with king to e7? This king cannot catch these pawns. King e7, if the king tries to go in this direction, he will not be fast enough. Because of a4 and then b3. Similar idea with pawn takes, there's always a3, and he's super fast. Huh, so king e7, h5, king f8, h6, king g8. I think that would be another direction to go. I think that's also a solution. But it's just apparently the immediate push with this idea where you don't recapture, but instead address the idea of this pawn promoting on h8, and you could stop it by promoting on the a1 square. Okay, well, I guess I didn't get the exact solution to this one, but I think uh, mine was still good. But let, let's try um, let's try this last one, puzzle three of three. There we go. Okay. Hmm. All right. There's a knight check and a queen check. Multiple checks. Pawn push is one. Knight here is two, three, four, five, although this one isn't going to be so good. So four checks, probably not the pawn push. Hmm. My first thought is to get the knight in the center post. And then depending on where the king goes, you could give a check from there. Let's see, though. Hmm. Hmm. Knight check? Where would the king go from there? There's also rook takes bishop check. I don't know if you'd really want to invite the queen over to defend some squares over here. Um, if knight check king here, what's the follow-up? Hmm. Oh, no. You know what the first move is? Uh, okay, the first move is queen h7. Keep in mind there's also this bishop. So, so far I've only been focusing on the queen and the knight doing stuff to the king. But if this king ever tries to run away to this d7 square, keep in mind there's bishop h h3 available to control that. Queen h7 limits the black king to two choices. So let's actually go with that first. In fact... In fact, if we went with the knight check, he has much many more options. If knight e5 check, he has e8, f8, g8, and g7. And, well, even e6. Which probably isn't a good idea. But nevertheless, he has many more options than he would have after queen h7. So queen h7, he has f8 and e8. 
if king to e8, there's queen g8 check. The bishop cannot block because it's in a pin. So queen check, king here. The bishop is paralyzed. He's pinned. And so that would force king to d7. And then there's bishop here. And the other variation would be queen h7, king f8. Queen a8 check. Or queen to h8 check. King f7, and now knight e5 check. And we're going to soon have mate because king e6 would be forced, and then comes bishop to h3. And that's game over. Mm, this one wasn't so sophisticated, I guess. Let's try it. That is the first move. Queen check here. And then the knight gets to enter the black position with check. And that's it. It's going to be mate on the next move. King e6 is the only move. And that is met with bishop h3. And that's game over. All right. Those weren't too bad. I, I don't know what the story was with the second one. Feel free to share how you did with these three problems. And as always, I hope you got something out of it. Take care. Bye. First thought is, believe it or not, knight b6, because I'm seeing a way where you can get to c4 with tempo, and then there's